Ireland's right to Ireland at the moment are being significantly hammered with regard to rising costs. Rent, childcare and food are significantly rising prices. Um, and this increase is happening at a time and to the people who probably suffered most during COVID. Many people who've lost their jobs have had their incomes uh, decrease significantly because of COVID. And at the top of this, energy prices and fuel are going uh, sky high. Um, and it's, like, if you look at the facts, it's, it's startling, Minister. Ireland has the highest electricity prices in Europe. Ireland has a 20, is the 21st most expensive country in the whole of the world for petrol. Diesel prices are up more than 24%. The wholesale price of natural gas has surged 251% from the start of uh, 2021. Now, these increases are particularly hammering rural Ireland. Um, and it's, I, I don't think it's by accident. You know, Fine Gael especially and the Greens are Dublin-centric uh, parties that are mostly in large urban areas and they don't have the feedback from uh, people living in rural areas like they should. And I do feel that Fianna Fáil is rolling over uh, in relation uh, to this in a big way. Um, these governments, like the government themselves, are not standing idly by. I have to say the government is actually adding to the problem. And if you look at the issue with the carbon tax, Minister, how can you design a tax today that can be implemented in six, seven, eight years' time without understanding at all the circumstances of people six, seven, eight years' time? Surely that's a blind way of actually implementing a tax, a dangerous way, a damaging way to do that. Now, we in AIM2 have produced an amendment that's going into the finance bill, hopefully, which would put a ceiling on the carbon tax plus market price effect on the end uh, price of fuel. And this would mean that it would have the objective of pushing people away from fossil fuels without actually scalding them uh, economically to do that. And then the other question is, you're looking to push people away from fossil fuel without providing the alternatives. Much of Ireland, you know, the electric car is still too dear. Charging points don't exist in, in rural Ireland. And the bus service in many towns and villages in this country is absolutely rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. I know of, of towns and villages in my own constituency where, where there's no bus service or where a bus rolls in uh, 7 o'clock in the morning and maybe again 8 o'clock that night. And if you look at even County Meads, like today, yesterday we had information come through that the rail line between Navan and Dublin, which has been promised you know, back as far as Noel Dempsey uh, for years, uh, is now being again put on the long finger. So this morning, the majority of Meath workers left the county to go to work. Happens nowhere else in Ireland. And yet Navan is the largest town in the country without a rail line. And plans for your government to build a rail line are in, the, in 2040, 2050, which is the never-never land, really. It's where, where you can say that it's on the, on the plan, but you never, ever have to deliver it uh, whatsoever. Um, the manner in which the government are also engaging in, uh, with people in terms of building a proper energy system in this country is incredible as well. We've seen it when it comes to the, the pylons that the government are looking to build in my constituency. They're looking to build 409 pylons up to 51 metres carrying 400,000 volts to Meath, Cavan, Monaghan, Armagh and Tyrone with a minimum distance of 13 metres from people's homes. So there's been massive opposition since 2008. People have agreed that they, they would like to see it underground, but the government won't do that whatsoever. And this week we learned that the uh, air grid and the ESB have secretly intruded onto landowners' uh, properties without notice or permission from those landowners. I understand that staff told, ESB and, and air grid staff told landowners that the reason for trespassing was because they're studying bats and bees while at the same time digging holes for pylons. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and that, in some cases, management of air grid are offering thousands of euros to farmers to let them onto the land. The government's attitudes Thanks, towards Deputy. the development of a proper infrastructure for energy in this country at a reasonable price is not there. And as a result, the people of Ireland are getting salted by your policies. Next.